The aim of this video is to show the practitioner how to flush a pick line and change the needle free valve. The practitioner should make an assessment of the appropriateness of the intervention, the wellness of the patient, any potential contraindications showing on screen now, and the patient's nursing medical and line care pathway notes should be reviewed. Preparing the environment, you should ensure you've got space, light, treatment trolley, nurse call button, hand washing facilities, personal protective equipment and cleaning wipes. Preparing the equipment using aseptic non-touch technique practice and washing hands as per hand washing policy. Introduce yourself to the patient and gain verbal consent. Preparing the patient is crucial. Do they have any concerns or questions? Have they got any allergies? Maintaining their privacy and dignity whilst achieving a comfortable position with the use of a pillar if necessary. Checking their ID bracelet or three point verbal ID. Clean the trolley with a Clinel wipe and then apply apron and gloves. Clean two blue trays with a Clinel wipe or suitable alternatives in the community setting. Prepare all the equipment using aseptic non-touch technique. You will need the following equipment. Two 10ml Lua Lock syringes, one ampule of 10ml normal saline and one blunt fill needle. Using one of the 10ml Lua Lock syringes, draw up the saline using the blunt fill needle. two Clinel device wipes, one pack of sterile gauze, one needle free valve, smart sight. Using the pre-filled 10ml normal saline syringe, attach to the smart sight, priming, ready for use. You will also need one clinical laminate sheet for the procedure. You should now remove your gloves and discard, gel your hands and put on new gloves. Place the clinical laminate sheet between the line and the patient's arm, being aware of the key parts of the port and the needle free valve. In addition, you may place some sterile gauze underneath the key parts to help with the procedure. Using the whole of the Clinel device wipe, using the scrub the hook technique, clean the needle free valve for at least 30 seconds. This then needs to be allowed to dry on some fresh sterile gauze for another 30 seconds. With one hand using the gauze, hold from underneath, avoiding the key parts. Taking the empty 10ml Lua Lock syringe attached to the needle free valve, apply some suction onto the syringe before unclamping the line and draw back about 5 mils of blood. While still withdrawing the last few mils of blood, reclamp the line. This blood can be discarded as per trust and IPC policy unless the blood is required for line sepsis and can be sent for blood cultures. If the line does not bleed back and is part of the weekly flush maintenance, it is okay to proceed. It must be remembered that if the line has been used for vesicant medications or chemotherapy, it is essential that blood is seen. For troubleshooting, please refer to the CVAD guidelines. Never draw back from a line at the point of disconnecting a chemotherapy pump due to the risk of cytotoxic exposure. The needle free valve is suitable for 7 days or 100 uses. If the flushing coincides with when a needle free valve needs replacing, this can be done now. The old needle free device can be removed and the already primed syringe and smart sight can be attached in one action. Whilst applying some positive pressure, the line can be unclamped and using a push pause technique, the line can be flushed. During flushing, view the exit site for leaks and ask the patient how the flush feels. During the last 1-2 to two mils of flushing, reclamp the line. This creates positive pressure and stops blood flowing back down the line. Disconnect the flush, leaving the needle free device on the line port. If the line isn't going to be used in the next 24 hours, then 10 mils of heparin sodium flushing solution should be injected in a steady, slow motion into the line. Recheck the clamp is securely closed and show the patient. Dispose of all waste, remove gloves and aprons and wash hands and then complete any paperwork necessary including the trust line care pathway.